If you're thinking about getting into real estate part time, you should probably watch this video. Invest helping real estate agents, real estate brokers build their businesses with a path toward financial freedom. So you're thinking about getting your real estate license and maybe thinking about being a part-time agent. Look, getting your real estate license is the easy part. Being a disciplined agent even part-time is the more difficult part. Look, I've worked with a lot of real estate agents and I can tell you I've seen a ton of them get their real estate licenses, do nothing with it, spend that time and money only to make a few bucks or not to make any money at all. You gotta have a plan moving forward. Look guys, I've been there, I've been in your shoes. I was working 30 to 40 hours a week at Red Bull, going full time at college at Florida Gulf Coast University and trying to become a real estate agent part time. There's a big learning curve and I can expedite this for you guys. If you want to transition out of being part-time to full-time in a timely manner, I got five good tips for you. All right, the first one is allocating the necessary time toward your real estate schedule. Look, if you only have two hours a day, that's fine. If you have that two hours a day, five days a week, and those two hours every single day, you are very disciplined with those two hours, undistracted and working on strictly income producing activities. Your other job, your other schedule might not be as flexible. So the second tip is team up with somebody in your office. So what I recommend is if you're procuring the business, you're nurturing that business, you get some somebody good on your team, then you go ahead and split any commission, say 50-50 split or negotiable depending on the scope of work or what you're gonna be doing and what they're gonna be doing. The third tip is see if you can find another job within the real estate industry. I know you still gotta pay your bills and you gotta generate revenue, so you might be able to find another job that uh, even as a personal assistant, I'm gonna put a link down below as well for some ideas um, of uh, jobs within the real estate industry. Number four, and extremely important, keep your personal expenses low, as low as possible. I got another clip here for you on financial freedom on how to keep your expenses low. This is gonna be imperative to transition from part-time to full-time in real estate as quickly as possible. And number five, save approximately four to six months worth of living expenses. So if your living expenses is $3,000 and you wanna save up five months as a comfort uh, buffer for you, you're talking about uh, $15,000 that you wanna stack away. And that could be one real estate deal that can get you from uh, part-time to full-time. So once you have that five, six, seven months, whatever you're comfortable with, then go ahead and go full-time. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below, I appreciate it. If you got some value out of this, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the little bell notification. We got more videos coming at you every single week. Santiago, what's up, bro? Good, how you doing? Video, man, video. YouTube. <laughs>